the formidable robot. I'm now losing all of my magic. To this day, there are countless SpongeBob incident videos that all have varying stories and events that unfold. Today, there are three SpongeBob related incident videos that piqued my interest and decided to explain their story with a link to one of the videos. Each video seems to follow the July 25th, 2005 saga and the countless date related SpongeBob events. With that said, I'm gonna start off with the first story. The Best Friends Forever Attack of 2005 This one seems like a sequel and eerily familiar to the mentioned July 25th, 2005 saga, but in a different turn of events, according to the YouTube description from Jobless Monday. On July 25th, 2005, Nickelodeon experienced an unexpected signal attack that dramatically changed imagery on screen during the episode Your Shoes and Hide. For many years, it seemed information on this incident remained well hidden, but over a period of time knowledge of this and many subsequent interruptions began to truly make themselves known online. What you are watching is some of the only surviving video footage to back up this event's existence. All involved parties would never have their names seen again. You do not know who works here. Nicknamed Best Friends Forever, due to imagery that would be shown on other hijackings with the same nature in mostly the same year. It sounds eerily familiar, but the footage shown isn't anything but. The events played out as normal in the exact events, Patrick looks over at Spongebob and greets him. Spongebob didn't respond. Instead of Patrick asking Spongebob, the latter suddenly smashed his head against the floorboard, blood dripping out of his mouth as the audio continued to glitch along with the crusty crab music butting in. But that's when things took an unexpected turn of events. The title card for Gary Takes a Bath was replaced with all A's. As the episode started out, the environment was dark, almost like nighttime. The camera cuts to the Gary clock with an eye cracked and the clock ticking. Gary stares at nothing while doing the reaction like normal, before it cuts to a creepy smiling Spongebob and the episode abruptly ends. Does this specific incident connect with the July 25th, 2005 and the ultimate theory? No, it doesn't. This is just a root piece of the story that connects within another story outside of the main story, but the idea that Gary takes a bath was also affected by the hijacking adds to the mystery. To this day, it remains a mystery. May 1st, 2005 One of the date incidents of Spongebob Squarepants, this one is a short but pretty disturbing plot twist of the episode Dying for Pie. It starts with Squidward glitching the phrase such before the audio gets loud with him saying, I'm such a good person. Then, in an oddly somber twist, it shows the tombstone of supposedly Spongebob, with the screen cutting to the sky and then ending with the credits. Like mentioned, the video is a short one as it's 36 seconds. It's such an ironic and disturbing twist of the idea of, what if Spongebob really did die from the pie bomb? Those ideas and questions fester in your head like a parasite, and stay there forever. Nothing more, nothing less. 2005 Anomaly 1.mp4 Taking a page out of the Mandela catalog, this one takes the episode Squirrel jokes and recorded at. Oh goody, July 25th, 2005. God, there are so many incidents around the date. Anyways, the incident starts immediately into the episode and then cuts to black, then cuts back in before immediately snapping to a cloudy picture. There's some text but all I can see from the shitty quality is, I'm sorry. Then, this face appears. This reddened face that looks like Aaron Pickett from the July 25th, 2005 saga. Then, the most puzzling piece appears. A phrase appears, I hate you John. Then, a frame of the infamous July 25th, 2005 saga was shown, the floating Spongebob, before the events ended with a piece of paper being pulled out. That was a lot to take in for this being the final incident video. For how cryptic and how weird it seems, and this John guy. I wonder, who's John? I can't cover him because that'll mean moving my entire magnum opus, the July 25th, 2005 theory, and making another one which I planned on not doing because that main theory connected the main story and I'm sticking with it. In conclusion, these are all incident reports, events that happened during a certain period of the month, or just appeared to share the same exact events. 
Whatever it is, rather it's on you to bore any other site. Just remember that a certain cartoon show can carry a big event on its back. And when you push the snowball down a hill, that's when it gets bigger and bigger. And whatever show it's going to be, the line guard on Disney Jr. 